All right, you guys, it's time for Five Nights at Freddy's, and this is the tie-dye collection of collectible figures. I have all of them, so we're gonna check them out right now. Cookie Swirl, see? <laughs> I love how colorful their packaging is. This is amazing. So I finally found the full collection. Let's start things off with Tie-Dye Freddy. So here he is. Now, what I didn't realize about these is that their whole entire body paint, it's actually printed on, which makes them a little bit more fragile because if you were to scratch their paint, you can kind of see right here next to his leg, like where they didn't print some of that paint and it kind of creates like a white spot. So I wish they actually kind of had dipped these or something in some paint to make them like really unique. You see what I'm talking about? Like whenever we get really close, you can actually see like the little painting. There's actually a little bit of kind of a mistake on this one on how that paint is. And you can kind of see the actual like printed ink on there. Oh yeah, he's already really scuffed on the back. You can kind of see right there. So super fragile. These are gonna be really, really, really fragile. But they do have some hand painted details. His teeth are all hand painted in, his eyebrows, his nose. They're still able to make these figures very, very poseable and movable. So you can pose them in all different poses if you want. And what I like about these is because they do have that tie dye effect on them, they're gonna be all different. So you can see the Freddy on the back of the package here, the promo picture. That one's really like purple. And the one I have is definitely not as purple. It's more pink. And look at the tie-dye Foxy on this one, like really like red, white, and blue versus the tie-dye Foxy that I found is way more blue. There's like no white on it and barely any red on it too. It's just, it's mostly blue. So here's Foxy out of the package. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great in tie-dye, right? He looks really amazing. You can see a lot of imperfections, of course, in that printing of the tie-dye. Like there in his ear, doesn't look all that great. I don't know, he's got some sort of paint or something stuck on his hand. Does have that hand-painted teeth though. So you can see all of those teeth painted. His eye patch really blends in and it's interesting on mine the way that that one red streak kind of goes over it. It almost looks like it's part of his eye patch like strap, strapping it to his eye. All right, there's Foxy and Freddy. Who else do we have? Tie-dye Chica. She looks pretty bright and colorful compared to how she looks on the back of the package. I love that they made her coloring orange and yellow. It just, it's perfect. So this one works really well with the tie dye. I like the pattern of this one. I spent some time at Walmart looking at all the different ones to make sure I picked out the one that I liked. And this is the one I picked. She's got a really good mix of yellow and like that ready orange right on her body. Look at the back of her too. This little spot right here, that's a pretty nice little tie dye spot. Here's Mr. Cupcake. <laughs> also same color of tie dye to blend in with Chica. It'd be really creepy. You know, all you can see are his eyes just kind of there blinking, staring at you, just because they stand out so much on that orange red background. Tie-dye Bonnie. Again, I found this one in a pretty colorful one too, when I was at the store picking them out. <laughs> I love this one too. Maybe it's because Bonnie and Chica are the closest to their normal animatronic colors versus like Freddy and Foxy are like red and blue, which is not their normal coloring. They can make brown tie-dye, can't they? Can tie-dye not be brown? Cause they should have made Foxy in more of a red tie-dye. Oh wait, yeah, we're talking about Bonnie. So this Bonnie looks pretty good, pretty colorful, pretty fun. Little imperfection there underneath his bow tie. You can see his little bunny tail there on the back. He's really tie-dyed, like he really has a really good mixture pattern. Even look at his ears, it's just, he just looks really good in tie-dye. All right, there's one more to check out, even though he's not on the box. Who could it be? Who could it be, Cookie? I'm talking about the Walmart only exclusive tie-dye spring trap. Oh, he's in like that radioactive toxic green color with that yellow base underneath. Now he has a lot of holes in his plush suit. So it actually makes it look like that tie dye is just kind of like bubbling away from his body. So it actually really works on him and it doesn't look like a, a misprint or anything like it kind of did on Freddy or Bonnie. See how he kind of has those open holes on his body there that doesn't have any tie dye. It's just all yellow. And even on his leg there. Oh, I like this one too. I love collecting these, if you can't tell. I have a lot of these. So here they all are, all five of the tie-dye collection of these Five Nights at Freddy's Funko figures. It's always exciting to see what they come out with with these figures. I enjoy collecting them, I enjoy finding them. What do you guys think? Which tie-dye color pattern is your favorite? Who looks the best in tie-dye? Let me know in the comments. Keep being beautiful, I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.